Welcome to another Noble Review Session for students of microeconomics. Today we're going to look at a monopolistically competitive firm in long-run equilibrium. Since there are many firms in a monopolistically competitive market, firms will enter and exit the industry in the long run, leaving the firm to break even. The firm will earn zero economic profit, or a normal profit. Accounting profits will be positive because the accountant doesn't care about implicit costs or opportunity costs. To graph the long-run equilibrium, you do your axes with price and quantity. Then we sketch out our demand curve downward sloping and then the marginal revenue curve below the demand curve. Put in your marginal costs and then we can establish our price and output. To get output, we use the MR equals MC rule, labeled Q. Travel on up to the demand curve to get your price. The trickiest part about sketching out this model is the average total cost curve. ATC is U-shaped. So we start above the price, make sure the price is equal to the ATC, and then continues to fall and reach its minimum at the marginal cost curve. And then we rise to complete the U-shape. Please take note that this price and output combo is not productively efficient, and that's because the price is not equal to the minimum ATC, a condition known as excess capacity. Excess capacity means that this firm can get even lower average total costs by increasing its output, but it does not have the incentive to do so. So this level of output is less than this level of output where the ATC is lower. That's excess capacity. Well, that's how you illustrate a monopolistically competitive firm in long-run equilibrium. Do your best with graphing. It takes a little bit of practice with that ATC curve and also understand the concept of excess capacity and the productive inefficiency that occurs for the firm in long-run equilibrium. Thanks for watching the video, and thanks for studying with the Noble Review.